Born Jonah Fieldstein in 1983, Jonah's early life was a tapestry of sunshine and creativity. Growing up in the affluent Cheviot Hills neighborhood of Los Angeles, his artistic spark flickered early. He wrote scripts inspired by The Simpsons, dreamt of stand-up, and immersed himself in local theater productions. This creative energy resonated throughout his childhood, laying the foundation for his future artistic pursuits. Fate took an unexpected turn at Cantor's Deli in Fairfax. While slinging pastrami sandwiches, Jonah's wit and charisma caught the eye of none other than Dustin Hoffman. This chance encounter catapulted him into the world of I Heart Huckabees in 2004, marking his film debut and the beginning of an extraordinary journey. Under the comedic wing of Judd Apato, Jonah blossomed. He became the lovable, foul-mouthed everyman audiences adored in films like Superbad in 2007 and Knocked Up in 2007. His relatable humor and effortless comedic timing resonated resonated with a generation establishing him as a rising star in the Apato verse. But behind the laughter lurked personal struggles. Public scrutiny and body image issues took their toll. Jonah's bravery opened up about his anxieties and depression, shedding light on the darker side of fame and inspiring vulnerability in others. This courage to confront his demons became a reoccurring theme in his life and career. In 2011, Jonah surprised audiences with a shift toward dramatic roles. His poignant performance in Moneyball earned him his first Oscar nomination, showcasing his depth and talent beyond comedic typecasting. This marked a turning point, leading to powerful performances in films like The Wolf on Wall Street in 2013, where he played the hedonistic Donny Otsoff, and Manchester by the Sea in 2016, portraying a grief-stricken brother. Jonah's artistic ambitions extended beyond acting. He wrote and directed the critically acclaimed mid-90s in 2018, proving his diverse talents. He even lent his voice to animated films like The Lego Movie in 2014 and Sausage Party 2016, demonstrating his comedic range and willingness to experiment. Using his platform for good, Jonah became a vocal advocate for body positivity and mental health awareness. He openly discussed his own struggles, inspiring others to embrace vulnerability and seek help. He also also championed social justice and environmental causes, demonstrating his commitment to making a difference in the world. In 2022, past allegations of emotional abuse emerged, casting a shadow over his achievements. Jonah took responsibility, publicly apologized, and vowed to do better. This act of accountability marked a new chapter in his journey, emphasizing his growth and commitment to personal change. At 40, Jonah Hill stands a complex and compelling figure. He's a comedic icon who redefined himself as a dramatic force. He's battled personal demons and emerged as a voice for self-acceptance and healing. While facing past mistakes, he continues to strive for growth and redemption. Beyond the overreaching narrative, here are some additional details about Jonah's cinematic journey. Before his comedic breakout, Jonah had small roles in films like The 40-Year-Old Virgin in 2005 and Accepted in 2006. Jonah's dramatic portfolio extends beyond the aforementioned films. He delivered nuanced performances in War Dogs in 2016, Don't Look Up in 2021, and Maniac 2014. Jonah's vocal talents can be heard in films like How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World in 2019, and the SpongeBob movie Sponge on the Run in 2020. Jonah Hill's story is more than just a Hollywood tale, it's a testament to human resilience, artistic evolution, and the pursuit of self-betterment. He reminds us that laughter and vulnerability can coexist, the artist reinvention is possible, and that even flawed individuals can strive for positive change. As his journey unfolds, Jonah Hill promises to continue captivating audiences and leaving his mark on the world both on and off screen.